Hi everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Live Pour 100 Watt Box Mod. This is by Yosta Tech. It is um, the same maker that made the Live Pour 60 Watt, the Live Pour 200 Watt, and 260 Watt I think it was. I loved their previous um, mods because of the weight. They were known to be very, very lightweight and pretty inexpensive. So we're going to go down. I'm going to talk more about it. Then we're going to come up. I'm going to give you my pros and my cons, and then uh, we'll vape on it and see you down there. Okay, so here we are with the Live Pour 100 box mod from Yosta. It has the website right there. This is basically the box that it comes in. It's going to have your standard configuration, meaning everything that's included in your kit, and a little bit of information about the background of it. And then you go inside. Okay, and inside the box, you're going to get your warranty card. It's got some warranty information here. And then you're gonna get your user manual. Really, really easy. There's not much to it. It tells you um, about the menus. It's gonna give you some specifics. Um, right here are actually gonna be your specifications if you wanna go ahead and pause the video. It does um, have an output power of five watts to 100 watts, and it's got variable wattage, bypass, and um, temperature control. The resistance range is a 0.1 to a three ohm, and it does have the basic temperature settings. Um, one thing I do want to mention over here is that it does give a bit of information about where it actually derived from and it was inspired by the transformers. It's the smallest size 100 watt box on the market presently. It has a colorful LED design and it takes three different types of batteries. Yes, folks, three different types of batteries. It takes 21700s, 2700s, and it does come with an adapter for an 18650 battery. Inside the box, you're gonna get the mod and you're gonna get your USB cable. This is only for firmware upgrades. I never recommend um, charging a device with batteries in it. If it does come out, then you wanna charge it externally. It has the fire button here, minus plus here, the USB firmware upgrade port. Then you've got these right here on the sides. Those are actually for your LED lights, including these two lights here. And then on the side, it's gonna say live port, nothing on this side. And then it's got the Yosta emblem here. On the bottom, you've got plenty of battery ventilation. And then on the top, you do have a spring loaded 510. Really, really nice and springy. The top is a little slightly raised. Like it gives you a little bit of a bump, but not much. It really, it's really hard to tell unless you're like really, really nitpicky. And then um, to get into the battery compartment, you just pull this door off. The magnets, I have to tell you, are super, super strong. It's got one here and one there, and they hold on. They do not want to come off. And then, of course, they connect here. It's clearly indicated, plus and minus right here. And it is type like a plastic door. This is made of metal. And then it just closes like that. It does come with your 18650 battery adapter. As I said, it does take 21700s, 2700s, and 18650s. When you put the battery in, again, this door is like really on there. Just go ahead and put it in like this. I'm actually using my Galisi 21700 battery and just put the door on like this and it's not coming off. Um, whenever you put in the battery or you will fire the mod, you will have the LED lights come on. It does have this plastic thing on the front. I did want to take that off because it's really, yeah, <laughs> really getting to me. I've been trying to make it last as long as possible. When you first turn it on or first put in your battery, it's actually going to say locked five times. There is no way to completely shut this down, but it does shut down in the background. It's five clicks to unlock and five clicks to lock. The lock is a basic turn off. So one, two, three, four, five, turn, get you into it. It says live pour 100. It's got your setting, which it's currently in power, 60 watts, your time, that's amount of seconds that you're actually pressing your power button, your voltage, your resistance, and then your puff counter, and then your, your battery indication. Now you can go as low as five watts and as high as 100 watts, and let me tell you, it scrolls super fast. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. It scrolls like really, really, I like, I, this is probably one of the faster ones that I've seen. So it does scroll from five to 100 watts to get into the menu. It's uh, three clicks of your fire button. Oops. Okay, and then your power is gonna flash. Once that's flashing, you press your down or your up and it'll go to the next one. This is your nickel 200. It's gonna show your temperature, the same other information here, except for your wattage is shown there, along with your resistance and puff counter. 
Press it again, you've got titanium. Press it again, you've got stainless steel. I'm gonna go ahead and go into that. It does go from 100 degrees Celsius to 315 degrees Celsius, and it does go from 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. It does round robin as soon as you press the button once it stops, it'll round robin. To change your wattage and temperature control, you're gonna press your fire button two times and then your W is gonna flash. This is where you can actually change your wattage and it does go as low as 20 watts and as high as 80 watts. And then to select whatever select, selection that you have, just press your fire button. Then to keep going into the menu, one, two, three. The next setting is gonna be clear puff counter. If you wanna clear this, all you're gonna do is just go ahead and press your fire button. That's gonna clear your puff counter, one, two, three. Your next setting is gonna be bypass. This is making it an unregulated device, so you wanna be make sure that you are knowledgeable about this before you start using it. The next setting is going to be back to power. Select whatever you wanna do, and it's basically that user-friendly. It's very, very simple, very um, user-friendly. I think this is probably one of the one of the one of the few 100 watt mods that has a really really easy interface it's very very user friendly very very lightweight without a battery in it when you put your battery in it that's where you're going to get your weight is pretty much just from the battery i personally do like these um these light indicators but there is no way to turn them off so i did want to warn you on that so we're going to go ahead and put an atomizer on here. I'm actually gonna put my Rainbow Core RTA, which matches it absolutely perfectly. Whenever you put a new atomizer on, it's gonna tell you new load or old load. I'm just gonna go ahead and press yes. So 0.17 is my resistance. When you fire it, that's where you're gonna see your voltage. And then of course, the amount of seconds that you've puffed it, or pushed the button at least. Um, it does go as low as 0.10 ohms, and it goes up to three ohms. And if in temperature control, it'll go as low as 0.08 ohms. So let's go ahead and go on top and we'll talk more about this. Okay, so here we are back on top. I'm gonna go ahead and have a vape and then we'll talk more about it. Really, really, really nice. Um, it fires pretty much almost instantly. Um, I'm gonna go over my pros and then I'll go over my cons. Um, the pro, well actually let me go ahead and go over my cons. I'll go over my cons because I've only found one so far, one real one. Um, the only con that I have come up with is that once you get these lights on, they do not, like you can't turn them off. It's not a button to turn it off or a setting to turn them off. It's pretty much just there. There's really no way to turn it off. So if you're not into lights, you're not gonna like this. But if you like lights, you're gonna love this because it just, it, it looks absolutely beautiful. I love the rainbow edition. I think that it's really, really nice and slick and sleek. And um, it just, it looks good. It's just a great looking mod. It, right away when you first see it, you're like, wow, this is sexy. So um, that's my only con. Um, my pros, easy, easy, super, super easy to navigate. Like you couldn't have gotten easier if you tried. Very, very easy to navigate. It doesn't have way too many settings for you to go into. You've got your wattage, you've got your temperature control, you've got your bypass, you can reset your puff counter if you want to. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do. Um, it's got the temperature setting where you can change your wattage. Another huge pro for me. I think that that's really, really good. Uh, the best part of this whole thing is the size. It is super, super small. Look, see, it's smaller than that. It's, it's really, really small. So I do like that. I like that without a battery, it's very lightweight. Depending on which battery you put in it, whether it be a 21700, or 2700, or 18650, that's going to determine the weight of it because it's actually going to be your battery that's making it weigh more than anything else. Um, another pro is going to be the fact that it does have, um, it fires down as low as 0.10 in wattage, but it does fire down as low as 0 0.08 ohms in temperature control. So I think that that is something to, to be uh, commended. I've actually got it at 60 watts, 60.3. Oh, that's another pro I forgot to mention, the colorful screen. I love, love, love that each section has its own color. So if I am looking for the puff counter, I know it's in yellow. So it's just, I just, I love the look of it. 
I think this thing has the best look to it. Now on yostatech.com, they do show four different colors. It's another type of rainbow like this, but it's a little bit more dull rainbow, a black and a stainless steel. Um, on vapesourcing.com, they have it, but they only have the three colors, which is the rainbow like this, light gray or black, which it, the light gray is like a silver, but it's more of like a brush silver. Really, really nice. They have it for $29.90. Yeah, $29.90 on vapesourcing.com. I think it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. It's a 100 watt mod. It's got an easy navigation and I love colors. They don't bother me. Uh, for those of you that it does, this probably won't be for you, but for those of you that like color, this is it. It's not a mimic of Transformers, but it is inspired by Transformers. Personally, I absolutely love the Transformers. I have watched it multiple times. As a matter of fact, just the other night, I watched it again. I love the Transformers mo movie, so maybe that's why, but it's only more like here. The rest of it is not really a Transformer type of look. It's just nice and sleek, and it's got your little finger holes if you're holding it like this. It's just, it's nice. It's very lightweight, very short, very compact easy to navigate. I mean, the only other con, I did have one more con. I do apologize. The only other con that I have is that you can't fully turn it off. Now it does shut down in the background. When you do lock it, it is like a shutdown mode, but if you touch it, it's more like a sleep mode. It's literally putting it to sleep. It's not firing. It's not on, but as soon as you press the button, it wakens up and it's going to tell you unlock five, five times so that you can look at five times to unlock it. So that's pretty much it for this. This is absolutely, it's another great device. I mean, Yosatech, in my opinion, is a great, great company. Um, I've loved all of their mods so far, and this one is no less. I really like it. And nowadays, being able to use three different size batteries, that's key in any mod. Um, it is a single battery mod, but it works just fine. My Galisi battery lasts me pretty much all day. I, I haven't had any issues. And I always carry a spare with me anyway, just in case you never know where you are. But I do that with any mod that I have that only takes one battery. So that's it for my review. If you like the review, please give it a thumbs up. And I'm going to see you on the next one.